Hi guys, I wanted to show you the difference today in thin body acrylics and thick body acrylics. So let me flip the camera around. All right. Now as you can see with this, I'm gonna turn it vertical. That's the thick body acrylics on this side and that's the thin body. Thin body is already starting to run as you can see and that one's not. All right so we'll do the thin body on this and we're gonna make a little tree to see. So we're gonna put our little leaves. This is the trusty master's touch fan brush. I love this fan brush. There's all kind of interesting little leaves. Just bought another one guys yesterday, a little one from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, if you buy acrylics, make sure it's thick body from now on. I'm not buying no more thin body. This is the thin body going on. Okay, that's enough just for our tutorial purposes. Okay, let me wash it. And dry it off from a paper towel. Okay. And now we're gonna go into our thick body. Wow, much, it's, it looks like oil paint, guys. Okay, and now we're going to go right here and put our other little tree. Wow. It raises off the paper like, like oils. Uh, giving me much more texture in the leaves. Okay, that's about good enough. Okay, I'm gonna rinse our brush and I'm gonna blow dry it real quick because we're gonna put our yellow highlights now on each side. Blew the paper right off. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go ahead and add our highlights. Okay, first the uh, the watered down thin body. It's going on like water. This is more like water color than acrylic. The green is bleeding through it's so thin of course this tree on this side would need more dark underneath but this is not a real painting I'm gonna throw this paper away after so why go through all the work of making it perfect Right. That's that one. That's the thin body. And now we'll do our our thick body. See that was that one. Now we'll go into this one. 
Wow, look how thick. This shouldn't be see-through. Okay, let's see what happens here. Get a little more. Wow, that's thick. That is totally thick. I don't know if you can see, but look at it gob. It just gobs, it doesn't drip off. It feels like I'm painting with oil. Okay, so that is the difference. That's the difference in these paints, guys. Now, if you were to add branches, I strongly suggest using this flow medium instead of water. Water runs down the canvas, and this doesn't. This is a little more thicker than water. I guess we can do it real quick for you guys. Um, let's see. So we're going to use this. This brown, this heavy body. For branches. Well, first you got to peel the paper off because this one never was open. Okay. That's enough. Okay. That's our brown. Put a little bit of gel here. Good enough. And we'll mix it in. Wow, that's one of my new ones. This long brush here. Wow. Okay. Let's see what kind of branches this new brush makes. Oh, it makes, don't press, and it makes the thinnest little lines. That's why I wanted it. The very, very, very thin little lines. Like if you're doing boards on a house, and you want it real thin. Yeah, okay. There. So that's the the gel being mixed in the heavy body. The thick body, you can add a little bit to the thin body if that's what you got to work with. But heavy body is much better to use. If you can afford it, ve yeah, get the thick body. Your paintings come out way more nicer. All right, and that is the difference. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave me a comment below because I always like feedback from you guys. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.